Welcome back to another video, family. Make sure y'all mash the like button as soon as y'all come in the building. Prime to Colorado, we back at it again with another episode. After all his success with Jackson State, Coach Prom was looking for an opportunity to move up to the Power 5 level. And a lot of presidents didn't seem to want to give Coach Prom an opportunity. He didn't fit what they were trying to do. He came from Jackson State. He didn't have a pedigree of coaching. He was still learning what to do. So give him some time and he might be better, including this guy, Arizona State President Michael Crow who has said, I get a lot of messages about Dion, and Dion seems to be in just his early age of learning how to coach while Coach Prom was still the Jackson State head coach. And this is right after Arizona State had fired Herm Edwards in 2022. He said, we're going to find the most fantastic football coach that we can. Wow. So in so many words, Mr. Crow was saying that Coach Prom wasn't that fantastic of a hire. He wasn't really going to be doing a whole lot of nothing if he got to the power five level. And he didn't want to take a chance with somebody from Jackson State that doesn't really know what they're doing. He needs to, you know, maybe be a, a assistant coach somewhere and kind of learn the ropes. So, but we're going to get a fantastic coach. And this was back when Coach Prime was at Jackson State. No, Mr. Crow had this to say. People love to see create creativity. People love to see energy. What Coach Sanders brings to the table is that there are lots of ways to activate, motivate, stimulate creativity in sports and build new leaders. So he's off a new model, which I think can help us to sustain college football. <laughs> so Mr. Crow, when Coach Prime was at Jackson State trying to get an opportunity, was saying that, we know, we're looking for a fantastic coach. We don't want to waste our time with Coach Prime. He was just at a HBCU. He doesn't know what's going on. He needs to learn how to coach. To now, after losing to Coach Prime and seeing how the Arizona State Stadium was sold out for the first time because Colorado came there, now he's the biggest fan of Coach Prime. And I apologize and what I was saying was wrong. He's changing the game. <laughs> That's wild. I can just imagine how Coach Prime be feeling when he sees some of this stuff, man. Because this is a guy who had an opportunity to hire Coach Prime. Now you're looking at it and seeing all the stuff he done did and changed. Now you are you don't know what to say. All you can do is just congratulate him and be like, man, you know, he helped us because we played him. Now he helped to sell out our stadium, which is probably not going to get sold out the rest of the year because nobody cares about Arizona State. So crazy how that plays out. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe to the channel. Out.